A man who drifted a mile out to sea in a toy dinghy had to be rescued by a lifeboat crew last night as he battled against the wind and tide off Redcar. What are you doing out here? The alarm was raised at 7.30 in the evening after he was spotted near a wind farm off the coast. The man was wearing just a shorts and a top. This all comes as the RNLI says the number of near-fatal incidents in UK waters is highest in August and it's launching a campaign urging people to take proper precautions when heading out on the water. Let's speak now to Dave Cox, Lifeboats Operations Manager at the RNLI in Redcar. Were you on the boat last night? No, Sam. My role is uh, to coordinate the rescues from the lifeboat station. The lifeboat launched with a crew of two and very fortunately found the gentleman in a very short period of time. Right, without using language which may not be appropriate, I just wonder what their reaction was when they hit the shore about what they'd found. Well, sadly, this is an incident that we see all too often around the coast of the United Kingdom and Ireland. So we weren't totally surprised that the type of incident that we went to last night, which is a person in a dinghy, uh, had happened. What was a bit of a surprise to everybody involved is the fact that it was a, an adult male who could barely fit in the dinghy. His feet were hanging over the side. And despite his best endeavours to paddle back to the shore, the wind and tide were taking him further and further out to sea. I mean, lot, lot, lots of words come into mind. Uh, I mean, he was lucky, is probably the word we should use, that, that you were able to find him. What was extremely fortunate was that the people that were with him uh, on the beach that evening, they raised the alarm by doing exactly the correct thing by dialing 999 and asking for the Coast Guard. That meant that the rescue was triggered off very, very quickly. And within 15 minutes of the crew being alerted, the man was in the lifeboat and being taken back to shore. What about sea temperatures? Because I know this is an issue that, that you wanted to raise this year particularly. It, it's still cold out there, isn't it? Well, the sea is a very deceptive thing. You can paddle in the shoreline very close to the beach and it might feel quite warm around your feet. But a mile out, as this gentleman was, what we're talking about is maybe 12 to 15 degrees. And falling into water at that temperature triggers some very, very severe uh, changes in the way the human body functions. And in fact, one of our messages to people is that you really need to fight your instincts if you fall in cold water like this and actually not try and swim, but just to float on your back and keep your mouth and nose clear of the water until that initial shock passes. Then you have a much greater chance of survival. I'm, I'm sure you, you've, you've seen some things in your time and heard some stories. If there was such a thing as a stupid gauge uh, in terms of the, what people get up to at sea, where, where does this rate and, and what, what incidents have been higher in your experience? Well, we try not to be that judgmental, to be honest, Simon, but there's no doubt that uh, people really need to learn to respect the water. And the incident last night shows that really some people don't fully appreciate the predicament that they could be in. When the lifeboat arrived last night, um, the crew asked him why he was there, as you heard on the video. And quite honestly, he thought he was having a great time and was going to be fine. But in fact, the worst case that could have happened was that he'd have been tipped out of the dinghy and he'd have been trying to swim a mile against tide and currents. It would have been an impossible task and it could easily have led to being a fatality. So by the time he got to the shore and they'd had a little chat with him, was he more aware of uh, actually he was putting other people's lives at risk as well? I'm sure that um, between the crew in the lifeboat and the Coast Guard officers that met him on the beach, he'll have been given some very clear direct messages about the safety at sea and things that are good and not, and, and not so good to do. And certainly toy dinghies like this are not the ideal thing to go out in the North Sea in. Dave, it's really good of you to join us. Dave Cox, thanks so much for your time. Pleasure. Now, just a quick bit of breaking news. We're just hearing that criminal proceedings against the former MP Michelle...